hosting now. Hi, everybody. For the Hello. very first, Melissa B. Live show graphic, online uh, your, your with T. Walker. What's going on? Miguel Nunez. Eyes here. Michael Ashby. Mm -hmm. Gordy Love. What's up? From Bangkok, Thanks, Thailand. Good o'clock a.m. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, Gordy, um, they had everybody from Thailand. Absolutely. Sun is shining, very bright. Where, where, what part of Thailand are you in right now? Uh, Bangkok. Oh, Victoria. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know they tease with their name, right? Let me tell you. Well, hey. I did it. Of course. Uh, Gordy Love. <laughs> I mean, I mean, why would they pick a name? Why would they pick a name like that, bro? Bangkok. Come on, please. It's like it's it's. Oh my goodness. Gordy but, Bangkok but, Love. Gordy <laughs> Bangkok Love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, Yo. this is a very unconventional type of hangout today. Okay, guys. <laughs> hang it up. We yeah. ain't nobody judging. I, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't tell that. I couldn't tell. Don't judge us. <laughs> we might talk about anything. Uh, Absolutely. You know, well, first off, I mean, you're gonna, you have a show that's gonna be airing tomorrow, right? Yeah. Let's knock that out. Um, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. No. <laughs> yeah, we got a new show. Um, uh, it's myself and the creator of the Cosby Show, Ed Weinberger. We uh, uh -huh. got a new show that we created. It's coming out on TV One uh, tomorrow, Friday night, ten o'clock. Yep. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And it's called right. Bell. And it's it was the name came from. It was originally supposed to be a father and his three daughters, and it's supposed to take place in Atlanta. So Southern Bells. Mm. So. And um, and it's about a, fa a father who runs Keep David, uh, Elise Neal and Tammy uh, Roman from Basketball Wives play sisters. I play Maurice, the womanizing you know bartender cousin, mm -hmm. and uh, Ella Joyce plays the sister-in-law. We changed it from three sisters to two sisters and a sister-in-law, so we can have somebody for um, Keep David to butt heads with. Right. And but it's a really good show, and it's really yeah. true. Ed Weinberger genius. Mm. I'm looking. Eight o'clock, TV One. A uh, ten o'clock, TV One. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I think that I think that's a great thing, and I'm congratulations on that as well. Thank you, my Absolutely. love. Yes. And you know, I just executive produced Nick Cannon's new movie, which is called oh, good. School Dance, and that'll be coming out in the summer. It is. You know, the good thing about that, Miguel, is that I have um, where I can watch all the American. Uh, TV Live, because I, I, it's this thing called U.S. Uh, on TV, and I pay like only like uh, $12 a month, and I can get every station in America live, like For all the games, the all, yeah, through the internet, so it's really cool. Wow. I, I watch all the shows, so I can, I can definitely check it out. Wait, listen, you, you guys heard, he's in Bangkok right now, right? Exactly. It's a day ahead, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, right now it's uh, Thursday, uh, about 10.06 a.m. Wow. So tell, tell me about, about what's it like over there? Huh? What is, what it, is it like, like over there? Well, let me tell you, the best food, man, the food here is unbelievable. They, they really love to eat, the quality of food. But not just that, man. I, I'm really lucky. I, I live like in the probably the best part of Bangkok, which is uh, Ekamai. Ekamai, which rolled in Tonglo. They have like four really major we like got you that shit. Eklema, yeah. Tinglo. Wow. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, like in Bangkok, bro, it's like they have these four areas where well, Sukhavit is the main street, you know, Sukhavit Road. But like Tunglo, Ekamai, um, Ponchit, uh, Chiklong, they're like Beverly Hills, Rodel Drive. You see Bentleys, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. And what's so crazy about that? They're paying like a million to two million dollars to drive those cars here, because yeah. the import tax is like three hundred percent markup. Yeah. So when you see a cat rolling a Lambo here, he paid about a million dollars for it. It's crazy. Wow. wow. And uh, even a Mercedes. Have, I know they have beautiful women, though. I know they have beautiful women. <laughs> oh. We, oh my God. But my it's problem women. is, I like I like a little booty on them, but do they have booties? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, actually. 
the Thai women of all the ages is the Thai and the Filipinos do have booties. Really? It's the Japanese and Chinese don't have booties. Oh, but okay. the oh booties my gosh, I can't believe y'all are talking about that right now. Uh, oh, we hanging out. Oh, oh, we hanging out. We hanging out. This is what men do when we hang out. Yes, I know. Hanging out, Melissa. Oh my God! We're hanging out, Melissa. This We're hanging so out. <laughs> this is not. This is not just about. This is about the entertainment industry. It's all about hanging out, talking about. He's in Bangkok. I'm sure exactly. there's a lot of people watching. Exactly. They don't know what's going on in Bangkok. <laughs> I love Thai but food. You know, Thai food is my favorite you, food too. Yeah, it's you my know, favorite food as well. The Thai food here, the fruits you get. The fruits is like unbelievable. Then uh, because they. They grow bananas and and uh, grapes and stuff right right in the city, bro. They like people have banana trees like in a freaking mansion. It's crazy. Oh, so we yeah. got orange trees. So what? Yes, <laughs> I know. It's funny, but you know, but the trip thing about that is the price, bro. I mean, you can get. Here's seriously. what's amazing to me. Here's what's amazing to me that I think these people should know, and I don't know if you've told this story before, if you've been on before, but I thought it was fascinating that. You went, oh, guys, he went over there for what? One week? Yeah, yeah. Uh, One two week. weeks, uh, round trip ticket. Five years ago, and he hasn't left. <laughs> right. He doesn't, like, he doesn't like it much. He doesn't like it much. <laughs> he went over there for five, five years ago. Dude, it must be awesome to make you, Gordy, because you had it going on over here. Yes. What's, what's the cost of living like other than the cars being real expensive? What's okay, uh, everything else? Okay, example, a two-bedroom condominium. Uh, I'm talking furnished, really, really nice, but cost you about a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm talking what? prime, prime. What? Yes, that's why a lot of foreigners come here because your money go very far here. The only How thing that you still, 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 still twenty dollars. You know, still a dollar. Okay, give me an example, like um. A thousand ba is thirty-three dollars. Okay, so um, most salaries here they only make like six hundred bucks a month, bro. So even a even a police make like seven hundred dollars a month, but they got all the benefits. But the thing is, a lot of school teachers that teaching English here they make like what they call like fifteen thousand to twenty thousand ba, which is roughly seven hundred dollars. But the cost of living here is unbelievable because you can rent an apartment for three hundred dollars brand new furniture. What? I mean yes. We're living in the wrong place. No, you, not only that. But listen, I mean is, is it a decent than, it's a nice apartment for that? That's yes. better than a timeshare. A uh, uh, brand new apartment. Three hundred dollars. Okay, listen, you find me one, I'll pay the money per month, I'll pay up for a year. <laughs> That's the same thing as having a timeshare in Thailand. Yeah. Yes. Is yes, it, yes. Is it yes. air conditioned and everything? Air conditioned, Wi Fi, cable TV, flat Man, screen, everything. everything. When you wow. get off this thing, you set up my trip over there and I always go <laughs> and I'll come over there. And if it's and like I'm gonna tell you like I'm this, you come, here, you come here, I guarantee you you will postpone your trip to go back. Tommy, do you wanna go to Thailand and Michael? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are muted. Is the we're muted? Yeah, yeah you're good now. Are we good now? Is the food good over there? The food is the best. Yeah, man, it's the best because th there's like three main shopping centers, uh -huh. which is Emporium, uh, Central <laughs> World, and uh, Sion Paragon. They have all the best food, the best fashion. All you can buy a Ferrari in the mall. San uh, Sion, Par Sion Paragon, on the second floor, you can buy Maserati, Porsche, BMW, and Ferrari like you're going to shopping for shoes. What the hell They're are I doing here? <laughs> At oh the mall. Now, now yes. other, than the, other than the cars being real expensive because of the import duty, what about other things like clothes and other things clothes you need to buy? Cheap. Clothes, they have what they call night mall, and you can buy clothes for like $50, $100, like quality. Because they go by their salary. The salary, because the government blocks only certain imports because the people, the salary can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So you have to, even with a lot of the BMWs now, the smaller engine, they assemble it here. They buy the parts from Germany and assemble it in Thailand and make it a little more affordable. But even a, a C200 series will cost you $80,000 for a C class. 
It's Get crazy. It, but okay, wait, 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 wait. What? So if 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 the what do you call their money? Uh, Thai baht. If the Thai baht is that much different than the state, so I could go over there. How much could I get like a Rolex for? Oh man! Now see that kind of stuff. You get real cheap. You get, because jewelry and gems are are real heavy heavy here because of the people from Not India and Africa. <laughs> uh, India and Africa, they do the jewelry business here. Huge, huge business here. You can get damn near 100 percent. Gold here, like it's crazy. Yeah, well, I know is, Thailand always have all the gold on the. On the yes, road. yes. Well, jewelry and diamonds is very big here. That's that's probably the biggest international business going on here. Is that is the jewelry business? Well, I think it's, that it's, that it's was, an area that that's so cool. called uh, Ceylon. Ceylon area was all the diamonds and all the uh, wholesale jewelry uh, area. That's the. That's the area where you go, a sea loam. That area is all diamonds. So do they have like an entertainment industry there? Oh, uh, entertainment. Uh, yes, they do. The club, the clubs don't close to like uh, ten in the morning, nine in the morning. They they got a, a few clubs. One called Bash starts at uh, twelve o'clock to six a.m. So stop, stop right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you and, and, and guess what? The club don't charge no entry. They get you on the drinks because the highest thing is the whiskey. You have to buy a bottle. If you want a table, it'll cost you 3000 baht, which is like a, like a $100. That comes with a bottle of Absolute or uh, Hennessy. You, know, you, you buy, buy your bottle, bottle and you get your price. You get your price. You get your price. Oh you get your price. You get it, it's crazy. Oh, it's with the sodas and the mixes and all the drinks and all that. And, but you demand because you're in the VIP section and all the Thai <laughs> ladies are watching you. Oh, okay. You know, it's, good. it's really okay. all about the whiskey. That's the highest price here because the whiskey is very expensive. I and mean, you can buy a glass of wine. It, it costs you a, a lot because anything imported like that is more. They, right. they jack the price up. But so you're not, if you're not a drinker, if you don't drink whiskey and you don't smoke, <laughs> And you got no bad habits, you your money will go very far. You come in with fifty thousand, you can live for a long time. So what about the weather? I mean, what about the floods yeah, and all that good question. Crap? Good question. Well, the flood, the flood in Bangkok is don't really have too much flood. They had like flooding in the city because of the drainage. Sun, mess. sun, this, is it hot? Yeah, yeah, it's hot. It gets hot. It gets very hot. Like what? But you know, the thing about like like Vegas, it gets hot. You don't it's see like, snow. But it's humid. It's seen, humid hot, seen, right? No is it humid hot? No snow. Uh, yeah, yes, it is. It's humid hot. Oh hell no! And I bet they but, got two hundred zillion. But check this out. The thing about that is the biggest business here is air conditioning. Is mosquitoes? Yeah. Mosquitoes too. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, they, they got, got mosquitoes. Mosquito. They probably got mosquitoes to hang out on the street. So, oh so, yeah, so, they got mosquitoes so, hanging around. They do. They will, got mosquitoes. Will the mosquitoes tear you up? I mean, will they just like just you know attack well, you? I mean, it, oh, a, a lot of a lot of restaurants has out like outdoor seating, but yep. they have all these uh, mosquito uh, killing machines. Do you guys have? Do you have in your supermarket bounce sheets that go in the dryer? <laughs> <laughs> do you? Uh, okay, we say it like this. Wait, 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 uh, and wait, wait. Listen to me. I, I'm it's just gonna hard. Really quick. Do you? It, it's two things that's hard to find here: a dryer, like a washing machine, in the dryer part, and gas stove. They don't have gas pump. Everything is going through, uh, like the you know the tanks. Like, <laughs> now, let me just tell you why I said that. And this is for everybody who's listening. I don't care where you live. If you live in uh, 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 Atlanta, North Carolina, where the bugs and the mosquitoes are all around you at all times, listen to me right now. Get a bounce sheet, put it on your hat, or rub it on your body just like this, and no bugs or mosquitoes will ever come near you. Really? Why is that? They will have no idea. I, I was just from wow. North Carolina. The, from the North other Carolina. thing you can do is not shower for a couple of weeks, and then they'll smell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's true though. This is really true. I didn't know this. I was just home and I was getting ate up and all these guys, this construction guy was just sitting there and there was a talk and nothing was bothering them. I'm like, what did you guys do? And they yeah. all took their head off and turned it over 
and they had the bounce sheet, and he pulled one out of his bag. He said, "Rub this on you." I promise. <laughs> it's called a what? A bounce sheet? Bounce sheet? You know those bounce yeah. dryer sheets? The what? Right. The, the, the softeners. You throw it in the dryer to make the. the oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, I never seen one of those here. I gotta go. <laughs> I, I gotta, <laughs> bro, let me tell you something. It cost me thirty dollars to buy a law, a law cabin cert. Wait now, a minute, can, they don't have cert. No. Can you buy Can you oh, buy stuff on like Amazon.com and have it come to you or not? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do like that, but to buy it here. You're gonna pay a lot of money for any import American products. I'm telling you, I, it, I cost me thirty dollars to buy cert, bro. If I'm on a TV over there, I ain't worrying about it. I'm gonna have everything in my house, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna have everything modern, everything American. I'm gonna pay yeah. that. No, but yeah. now, can wait, you... wait a minute. You said the clubs stay open to like five, six in the morning. You're already yeah. doing it, so which means you got a production company behind you. If you right. took cameras into that club, you found the hottest clicker guys, the hottest. Yes. Girls, yes. and you decided to do a show with them, and you yes. produce them, it could be a huge hit. You okay, let me tell you. Absolutely. What's funny about that, my show is called My Second Home, right? But what's fun about that is I have like four guys and three girls, <laughs> and the four guys are just like entourage. We we like buddies. We kicking it and going to all the sexy places. Are they, like, are they, are they t all Thai? No, no they're no, not. They're all foreigners. They all, one from Hungarian, two from oh, California. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And one from Germany, because they want to see how American or foreigners live in Thailand. That's what the whole show is about. But we go places where the Thai people hang out, but we are the foreigners. But they call us Farang. Farang is, is means uh, foreigners. So we go to all the bars, all the clubs, the the best that's resort the on the beach. That's a good idea. That's a really good you know, idea. Like, you know, like the uh, uh, Samui Beach. There's a club called Nikki Beach, man. It's on the right on the water, and they call it's called Black Moon. And uh, Black Moon is like everything goes on the beach. They're actually having sex on the beach, bro. It, it's like that's what it is. It's all about that. It's crazy. <laughs> Gordy, like I added baby. you to my my travel circle. I'm I'm all over this. I'm all over hey, this story. <laughs> hey, you come you come to Thailand. You got to go to. Uh, I'm telling you right uh, now, I am not coming to Thailand unless you uh, make it happen. Uh, <laughs> Phuket, Phuket Island is the most I'm beautiful. I'm going by myself. It's un you know what's amazing, you guys? You can go to a resort, I'm talking your own little bungalow, and right on the water, and it only costs you like $200 a night. It's crazy. And it's like, <laughs> you, now, you, now, walk out your, you walk out your room, and you see that ocean, and you walk that... Walk that white sand, and it's so beautiful. The water's so clean. Oh, You're never gonna leave. I'm telling you. Do the, do the, do the local oh, chicks, do the, do the local chicks want to hook up with Americans? Absolutely. Wait. You are a target. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are the target. So wait, wait, wait. So you tell him I go to Thailand. Go there, go on. I go to I go to Thailand, right? And because I'm American, I would get hit on by hot chicks. You will get hit on on the plane, bro. No! <laughs> How much is a ticket? This nigga gonna be at the airport in the morning. <laughs> yes, right. Yo, how much is a ticket? Buy the well, uh, <laughs> it's, Okay, about if you book it in the, like a month in advance, if you go coach, which is, you gotta respect it, it's like a seventeen-hour flight now. So right, if, you, if you go, about eight hundred to a thousand dollars round trip. All right. Listen, saying, you don't need to pay that. You don't need to pay nothing. He's going to go to the producers, and he's going to have right. his American friends coming to spend the weekend with him. And we're going to do well, a whole actually, thing about uh, Miguel, I, I, could, I, could arrange, <laughs> I could arrange you a trip out here on us, no yeah, problem. But that, that could happen. He wants that to happen, Gordy. You know that's but, what he wants. Yes. No, but that's the only way I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I hear you because... It's got to be me, uh, and we got to be both of us. Your, your, um, your celebrity line... It's like mine. We you know we both know everybody. So, but you in America and I'm here. So definitely, I could take this thing to a whole nother level, bro. Where to a point where that I can probably even involve you, part of my situation. But you doing it there, like when you have time. You understand what I'm saying? It's I it's be crazy. There, but you got to cut me out of Thailand. See, yeah, Greg, no, no. You can come you here also. Right now. I'm saying, you I mean, be, I get what you're saying. You mean both? Yes, huh? yes, absolutely. <laughs> We could do that, bro, for real. We, we, let's talk about that, for real. 
you'll be shocked how many fans I got in town. Melissa, Melissa B. Okay, that's that's this, this Melissa B. Melissa Let's B. talk about Melissa B. Now, I'm, okay. I'm no, this is not about now, me. This is let me about, tell you what. I'm, let me I'm, tell you about my new album. She got a new album, though. She's an incredible <laughs> singer. She don't hey, want nobody to know about you, that. Let me tell the whole world about Melissa. Melissa oh, don't B. Tell about, don't tell her about the horse. Hey, Melissa B. is the <laughs> only reason I even got back into the music. Oh. It is because of her. Because I already left it all along. I, I walked away from it. I was just burnt out. But Melissa is the only reason I got back into the game because of her. Because she's the only she reason is, I stopped buying music. Man, she she's so talented. She's so talented. I mean, when you hear her sing, there's nobody doing can blow blow like her. And this is real. She and, and now she's hooking up with some real good producers and, get, and putting together some real good songs. It's only a matter of time. The right person with the right ear and vision, because yeah. she has a lot of vision, is gonna. Is going to really do something because she is so talented. Well, Everybody she work work and with, I they got go. some great guys working with me too, Tommy and Michael, and those are the ears right there too. And here's my thing: it's not, right now with the internet and 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 and, and there's so many ways you don't even need record companies anymore. You can put that music out, put it on, put it out yeah. there. It's like the internet has just just raised the bar. But what yeah. are what are the what are the keys to doing that? What are the keys to getting a following? That's my question right now. To get a, a following, great social media network. You got that's it. Uh, I got right. a, I got a girl. She's the best in the world. She can take you from she she's like one of those girls. She's a young white girl who who grew up. You know, our kids grew up playing with little cars and then you know mm -hmm. grew up building cars and little airplanes and grew up being pilots. She grew up on computers and shit. She got grandmother died and left money. And she don't go out and buy a car. She go out and buy her own server. <laughs> <laughs> she's wow. that kind of girl, and she wow. lives it, breathes it. She knows everything about how to. She know how to get, put it, and make. I have a hundred thousand people watch this, and a hundred thousand people like this because I I connected to this. So when they connect, this person likes it, which connects it to that person. She's just brilliant, and she does it the right way. Where if she does it, where each pyramid's off the other, and it kind of goes like this, and. She, Connecting to you got so there's got to be a certain trick. There's got to be a well, certain trick. Well, well, for one thing, if Melissa keeps doing shows like this, I'm telling you, she's going to pick up a huge following. Oh, absolutely. Just start no getting this show million. out there. I mean, come on. I mean, she, this thing's going to go crazy. But here, we should always have a segment of the show right now where we say, okay, guys, right now. If there's something special, Tommy, you got you doing, you trying to get some exposure. We want to look at this. Like right now, you could say, well, you know, right now, the message's got a song. Let's, let's hear your song. Let's, let's hear it. Let's go. Because we got all these people listening. You got something you should be. Oh, Michael can over. play it right now. There you play go. It. Play it. Started. And it better be good. Go now, ahead, Michael. Now, now, if he does, he has to set up the studio sound, you know, switch yep. the studio quality sound. And we it's all already music. on that. Go okay, ahead, so we're on all mute. Oh, okay. Everybody mute. mute. All right. So everybody, what, what song? What song are we playing? Everybody, everybody, everybody. All right. What song are we playing? Okay. Um. Really. All right, everybody. This is my listen beat. You guys want to hear? You guys want to hear R and B, pop? Or Which one? I want, I want you, you to hear. hear listen, song get ready to go out to the world. Yeah. How about? Okay, we know exactly what we want to play. <laughs> Addicted, Addicted or, or we got another a, a new special one for you guys. Can be an, an original, original piece? piece. Yes. Okay. okay. Featuring, Did you Tommy, hear me? featuring Tommy and Melissa. Oh hell no! I don't want to hear you. you. <laughs> 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 I gotta leave this thing. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? We get shit on since day one. All right, here we go. I had a drink or two, it made me think of you And then I saw your face and I was facing truth How could you make a dude fade away a fool? I came to drown myself in a liquor pool Dancing and grinding, we shining bright in the night We haven't shot after shot and it was you in my sight And I was keeping to myself, doing pretty well Feeling on my level, get a hangover from hell Consequences, I know you want me Stop pretending, stop messing, you rob attention Whenever we feel like we are in the same place I avoid all the tension cause I hate your face Gonna make tonight worth it cause it's all that's left Yes, never settle for the best, the rest are less important And this drink I'm sipping's only putting me in check Making me realize you only been drinking Tonight is the night that I 
song i'll get you a deal <laughs> oh my god yeah wait who wait wait who are you talking to me and melissa melissa well, both of y'all whoever's on that song the rapper and the singer <laughs> oh my god you definitely liked it man hold on i swear to god i'm gonna put right if you can put wait you know who rodney jerkins is right oh, oh yes mm -hmm. i was gonna let rodney hear it right now send it to him melissa go ahead no but we can't do it again can we Oh, yeah, we can. Yes, we Hold can. On. Hold on one second. All right. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it to him. If, yeah, if you get him to check out the live stream, then she can play it on command. Yeah, we can play it on command. We can give him the link. You can give, uh, give him a link? Just tell him to go to melissablive.com, and, he'll, and we'll play we it for him live. That. We ain't going to do all that. Hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Melissa, let me, let, let me add to what uh, Miguel just said. This is a superstar producer. He ain't going to do all that. He even going <coughs> to hit it and listen. Yo, and they ain't going to no links and none of that. He ain't going to do none of that. Yeah, he's going to want to he's going to want a link that he could click on and it'll take him straight to it. No, he going to want to No, he going to want to just hit just hit the, the arrow and, and hear it. it. He ain't going to no links, he ain't going to no website, he ain't doing no, none of that. Do he might do a link cuz I sent him a link before. <laughs> Maybe, but these dudes, man, it's like when you no, send the email and you, that, song. Uh, yeah, and you hit that Gmail and you hit play. You know the song? We well, can you know, if, the song. If, yeah, if we could get his email address, uh, Michael could just email it to him, well, the MP3. Ask, the email address, Miguel, we can send it to you and you can give it to him. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't think there he's email. No, let me ask you another question. Well, how many songs do you have? I have 14. Okay. No, no. Uh, pr uh, the producer, play. What's the song? Uh, let's get. What's my start? Starting something or? Uh, what you started? You started. What you started? 
or addicted. That's on iTunes right now. That one, right? Addicted. Addicted. By B. Howard. Yeah, can't play that one yet. Miguel, it's a hit. Just send me that. I like that song. That song's a hit. Thank you. You were flowing, Tom. You were flowing. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. You sound like Eminem, too. <laughs> He's really good. Thank He's really you so good. Much. Yeah, he was cool. You know what, Miguel? Someone said they want you to come to Australia. Tell oh. them I'll come tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ask that. Is that someone? Are you talking about uh, uh, Sydney? No, it's probably Brisbane. Uh, because Bondi Beach, naked. I, I, I did. I did um, Street um, Fighter in Australia for four months. And then did Scooby Doo in Australia for two months. Man, <laughs> me and a crazy real seduction went to uh, Sydney, Australia, walked on the beach called Bundai Beach. Everybody was ass naked. We could not believe what was going on. I've and never been to Sydney. I've only Man. been. Melissa, Brad wants in. Should I give him the link? Yes, you can give Brad the link. I okay. love him. All right. Brad is from Australia. You guys are going to meet oh. him. Oh. Oh. I love Australia. Whew. I love Australia. Yeah, he's love in Melbourne. Melbourne. He, Melbourne. Yeah, he's in Melbourne. He's a techie Melbourne. guy. He's really techie. Yeah, Melbourne is very nice. I like Melbourne. I've been to Melbourne. I've been to Brisbane, Melbourne, uh, Surface Paradise is where I live for uh, four yeah. months. <laughs> and Scooby Doo, we were on an island, so don't count. But I'm telling you, Melissa, shows like this uh, are going to get you a huge following. These guys well, are fantastic. The only reason why I, you know, chose to do this is because um, I see it as something, a freedom to, to, to bring ourselves to, you know, people, you know, because we're not able to it. do just that. Just have fun with it, you know? Yeah. I, I, I'm I'm just blown away at this little thing. I'm just blown away. I didn't even. She showed me how to do the Google. She showed me how to do all of this. Oh, last night we went through this for like hours, and I just I didn't even know this was possible. This is the only thing anybody should use Google. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Listen, it's pretty wild. This? Any meeting, any meeting. Forget yes. everything else. Yes. Yes. This is yeah. very different. Meeting. Everything else. Very good for me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's really wild people, that they're giving this away for free. I have really people wild. streaming talking about they love the song and that they um it's time for all of us to renew our passport <laughs> to go with Gordy to Thailand. <laughs> and um, I have my friend Mr. Vocab TV. He just gave I'm giving him his shout out for Vocab magazine. They're checking out and they're giving us support, which is good. Um, but yeah, the next this one that I wanted, the next show I want to do, I have a live band that's going to be here and I'm going to be performing live. Oh, Ooh, forget you. Boo! Melissa, <laughs> Melissa, uh, Casey wants you. Next one with all that fanfare. Yeah. Can we, um, can we add him, Craig? Can we add both uh, of them? Yeah, I can, I can give him the link. Okay. And, and you know something? You should also do another song next, next time. Oh, you want to hear my Love Me song, Miguel? Yes. Michael, play that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a real R&B track. Love, Love Me is very, 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 very <laughs> good. It's an R&B song. Okay, here we go. Okay. Shut up! Stop right there, you let me up. stare I don't want to share you with anybody else tonight Oh baby, you have got me wanting in Ooh, I want you to
Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> wow. wow. Bravo, how, many, bravo, bravo. how many people can you get on this Google? Uh, uh, ten. Uh, ten? Ten, yeah. And, you know, that, 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 so, too. Man, that is so amazing. You can get ten people all over the world on Google. Man. This is yes. definitely the way to do your business. And, you and, stream, it, and stream it live and record it simultaneously. Wait, so you can record this? I can record this? This is it already, already being is. recorded. It's, it's already, already, being, already recorded. being recorded. It's already being recorded live. So it's whoever right. missed it can watch it later. Exactly. That's crazy. So if you mess up, basically, you know, it, it'll be noticed. <laughs> <laughs> We don't we mess don't. up. Oh, <laughs> just like, no, I, I just got that. <laughs> hey, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's just like Miguel said. If you got a, if you got a entertainment business, especially, you got your writer one place, a production another place. This is it. And you all get on mm -hmm. Google and work that that thing out, man. It's crazy. I'm going For to free. get at least. I'm going to get For at least free. thousand people to join on this thing. Watch. Yes. For free, it's crazy. As soon as this I show you, I'm not going to be blown away. Because even Skype, I got you know, people going like, crazy right now I'm watching myself, this. They're like Skype, talking about I have this. To buy a number and call a person's cell phone uh, through a Skype number. You know, I can't mm -hmm. do like this. Yeah, this is this is crazy. No, this, this you, you can't Skype like this. The only no, way to no. be able to do anything is, I believe, to have a big paid account. Or something, yeah. but uh, one podcaster, Leo Laporte, had to use four <coughs> Mac Minis in order to do a five, uh, you know, a, uh, yeah. a panel group on Skype. Yeah. This oh, thing, if, you if know, you look at, if you look at what I can do now, I'm, 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 see how I'm sharing my screen. So you can do that. You can share your screen also. Whatever's wow. on the computer. Yeah, you can share your screen. Right. That's great. Isn't technology That's wonderful. Great. What do you mean? Oh, I can. What do you mean? I can share my screen. You can share if you have something up on your computer that you want to show everybody. Yeah. On the left, where screen. it says share screen, screen right, right below. Chat. Yeah, like for example, wow. you can click on that. Right you, can, what? you can share whatever you want to share. That's crazy. 
Oh, yeah. is it on the right or the yeah. left? Yeah, we can it's see it. It's on the left hand now. side. We can oh, see it now. You can see what? Wow. Yeah, we oh, can see your screen. screen. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Melissa. Hey, hey, we can hey see your man, iTunes. how are you, man? I'm good, man. He's yeah, from Australia. Hey, what's up? Australia? Hey, what's up? What's up, buddy? And now you what click share screen again to get rid of it. Oh. That is my podcast, mate. Oh. Hey, where you at? From Australia? Yeah. Down in Melbourne. Hey, so let me ask you something. Like, can you, what are hey, you doing, you man? What are you doing, you boat? Hey, you guys, can you just, can you share like a file? Um, can you share a file in the? No, you can't. I don't think no. so. No. No. The, only, the only way no. is like Craig you know, Jacob only Jones. Just asked me, are you wearing mind. makeup? For some reason. Who? You? <laughs> no, I'm not. I was just sweaty from tennis. <laughs> I didn't take a shower. <laughs> what can I say? Funky podcaster. <laughs> Funky podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, tell me what is what is what day is it and what year is it in Australia? <laughs> Today is um Thursday the thirty first of January, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thursday. What time? Hour ahead of what time? Two forty four p.m. Two forty four p.m. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 5 hours. So he was very instrumental in, in assuring us that the world wouldn't end on December 21st. Well, I no. actually thought, I, I thought something was going to happen, I have to admit. I actually <laughs> thought something was going to happen. I really no, did. We, we hang, I, I hang out with him a lot, and so, you know, I'd always ask him, you know, on December, when it was December 20th on us in America, you know, 21st for him, I go, how's the world going? Oh, everything's good. Yes. Did he believe it? No, I didn't believe it. No, I didn't believe it. Hey, Miguel, when are you coming to Australia, man? I don't know, man. It's been a while. I've been there a long time. When was the last time you were here? I got a mate over there who lives over there. He, I did a TV show with him called Tarzan. His name's Travis Femmo. And oh, yeah? Yeah, and I think he's moving back. So when he gets back, I'm going to go visit him. Cool, cool, cool. We're all getting ready to go to Bangkok. Did you? We're going ready to go to Bangkok. We're getting ready to take oh, a trip yeah. to Bangkok. Yeah, okay, I'm coming. Right, you you might well. And the really? episode's going to be called America Comes to Visit. Buddy, go, go <laughs> Google Plus. Google Plus comes to visit. Yes, that would hey. be awesome. I'm telling you, it's, it's, you're welcome. We could really. make adventures out of this, you know, with you, Gordy, on the, on the fly. Hey, hey, you know what we'll call it? The Google Plus Adventure. Yeah! That's right. Absolutely. And we'll get together with a group of hangout people, and we'll decide where we're going to go. Google will find it. We talk about the interesting place we're going to go to. After we decide where we're going to go, we meet with the Minister of Tourism there, and we all just jump on the plane, and then we go, and we shoot it, and we film it, and we put it on Google. You know, you know what the best thing about uh, that? For, that? Your day, for your day close here, like, <laughs> there's, there's a massage parlor called... Uh, Tough Landing Spa that closed at 12 midnight. Yeah. And they give you a not even paying attention. Tommy, I'm a for that. Right by my street, yes. bro. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> huh? I don't know what's going on. What? <laughs> I was going to mention that. Uh, In Thailand, uh, there's Akram, two kind of massage. Ak there's the real massage, oh, and there's the other massage with the happy ending. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. Are y'all really going to oh, talk geez. about stuff like that on here with me? No. No, we're not. no, 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 no. We don't get into that. I'm just telling you, there's two there's two kind of massage here. You're trying to get us to Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming. We're, we're already on the way. Yeah. I'm going oh, for the my same. God. I'm going oh, for the right. business opportunity. I'm saying, I'm with whatever. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey. Thailand, Thailand and Thailand food sounds amazing. Exactly. Not, Tommy's going to be engaged on the plane. On the he way will down. not. Yes. <laughs> he'll, he'll be hooked up already. No, we need him, we need him recording can... and being single. No, no, no. Hey. You know about the food, the table could be full of food, and you swear it's going to cost you a lot of money. And it'd be like only $100, and it'd be like food to feed like 10 people. It'd be like all this food on the table. And you see, uh, like, veggies and uh, uh, shrimps and porks and fish and all kind of stuff. And you, you look at it and go, like, damn. And then when the bill comes, it's really 
Like, you'd be really shocked how cheap it is. You'd be like, it's like, what? what, 20, 30 bucks? And you never get yeah, sick? You never get sick friends. from eating it or anything? Huh? You never they get sick no from eating though. it? Well, veggies is real big here, but you know, also very big here is the pig. They like pork, but they treat the pig like the cow. The pig here is, is raised like Kobe beef. It doesn't, it's not raised like a normal pig. They really, really like the pig here, so that's their main meat. A lot of Thai people don't eat beef. The beef is here is for mostly the foreign people. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> so you know, hey, but yeah, but you know what's funny? <laughs> Thai people are like black people. They I got imagine. many. They got many shades. They got from white to black. It's, it depends on what part of Thailand they raise. The up the north is more brown skin, black, and right. then now you have a lot of Thai people are mixed with Chinese, so they have more of the yellow, uh, uh, lighter skin. A Chinese Thai person? Yes, a lot, a whole lot of them, man. Because the Chinese are the ones here making, you know, bringing all that money over here, bro. So they hook up with these Thai girls, man, and you know, you know how it is. So if they have a baby, it'd be a Thai, a, 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 Thai, a Taiwanese. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've heard that mix before. I've heard of that mix before. Yeah, yeah, I think I heard it. Oh my God, Michael! I think you wash machines about the door. <laughs> You're you're right next door to the washroom. Oh my gosh, I hear it, man. <laughs> well, what is that? Is that your view, Miguel? That's great. Oh, Miguel, you out there in the valley still? So now, wow. what? So, so now, do the, the Thai girls do they look like this? <laughs> is that what they look like? I thought they yeah. were all in. No, the no, party's got prettier girls than that. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 she has a nice like one child. That's, that's a nice, nice view. view. Um, are you in the valley? He's, I think he is in the valley. That's nice. Yeah, because it looks like the valley view. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice wow. view right there. Oh, yeah. That's the beauty of California, though. You know, you got the. This field. is this is downtown Los Angeles. No, that's like the valley. Miguel, is that the valley? He's, I think he's, that he's is. muted. It looks like uh, it looks like the valley. It looks like San Fernando Valley, but it's like he's from Encino or Woodland Hills. Uh, oh, Studio somebody TV. wants to hear a T. Walker song. Who? Some, John Smar, do you know who that is? Someone requested us one of your songs. What song do you want to play? Oh, yeah. Hey, I Miguel. Miguel. Huh? Miguel, we can't hear you. We um, need to get back in the house. I'm surprised he still gets Wi Fi all the way out there. No, no I, it was on mute. He needs an oh. extender to bounce his Wi-Fi. No, he said he's on mute. I mean, he's a single. Yo, Melissa. Yeah. How much battery you got on your laptop? Well, I just plugged mine in. All right, I got nine minutes. <laughs> you got what? Nine minutes. <laughs> here, come here. Come get my plug. All right. Plug on the wall. Plug in the wall. You can All tell, right, man. so we really playing, music, playing music, you might want to switch, switch off, off of studio, studio mode. That's, that's why you get all that echo. echo. No if you yeah, leave it in studio mode, yeah. Just let FYI, me see. let me see. Uh, can you see, see that, that view? view? Do you know what Google needs to do? Put the switching yeah. of um, studio mode and voice hey, mode in and quick access. Like it's I like, agree. Go, go, right. get on it. How is it now? Is it a little better? How do I pull yours up, Gordon? Yeah, it's yeah. better now. You got to click his oh. button. You got to click his, his, um, oh. there. Oh, I see it. Where is this at? Th Thailand? Yeah, it's Bangkok. Can you see? It's beautiful. Yeah, go down. Go down. Go down. I want to okay. see that. Go down. Now, go look at this. Daytime. Look at this house. Look at the house you're going to show you. Look at this house. Where? Right there. What is that? Oh, damn. Looks like a warehouse. You see you that? Sure that you sure that ain't a grow house? 
Yeah, it's got a nice tile roof on it. Is that where they make iPhones? <laughs> oh my god, oh, my god. I know you should have asked that question. That is so uh, <laughs> But I love them though. Wait, it looks it looks beautiful. It, it never what I thought Thailand would look like. Well, you're in a real nice area though. Hey Tom I'm in the I'm in the Beverly Hills of Bangkok. Yeah. Yes. Um, I Someone said know. um that uh they were supposed to be interviewing you. Who? Who? I don't know. They just said that to remind you that they were going to be interviewing you. I, I, but how do I what check this stuff? <laughs> so, so if everybody knows, if you want to uh, blue screen somebody, you just click on their thumbnail. Right. Oh. Up. If you click on them, it'll blue screen them and it puts them in the main window until you click on them again. That's to take you guys to the pool. Vocab. That would be roof. cool, Gordy, if you could do that. Take you to the roof. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Vocab magazine. Yeah, yeah, vocab mag. Yeah, I love those guys. Yeah. So, well, if you're Mr. tuning in right now, you just let me know whenever you want to do the interview. I think you guys <laughs> got my number. You guys well, got I it. gave um I gave Ty his um the link to this, and I was hoping that maybe he could get in here to uh, talk with us, which I That'd thought be would be cool. Hell yeah. Uh, that, the guy's house that I showed you. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-millionaire. He, he has 22 air conditioning units, a, wow. uh, 12 bedrooms in the house. That house is, but all the houses in the area, everybody's driving Ferrari, Lamborghinis. It's crazy, man. This is uh, Soy 10, which is a street area called 10 off of Ekemai Road. Anybody from Thailand would tell you about Ekemai Road and Soy 10. A lot of the famous uh, Thai uh, people and uh Money, just money around here. So now, how much does it cost to get an apartment in that area? Uh, there's there's no apartments in this area. There's um, okay. only condominiums and houses. So the condo, uh, like a two bedroom condo. A two bedroom condo costs you about one hundred and fifty thousand to two hundred. In that neighborhood? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, very nice. And it's all furnished. Uh, mostly is uh, wow. contemporary furniture, high tech. We ain't talking about no more damn Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about going to Thailand. We want to go talk about going to Thailand. Going to Thailand. Yeah, something creative yeah, that we can go. Like, you might. You're talking about it. You're gonna get us there now, Gordy. <laughs> no, get us there, Gordy. You done pumped it up. Cause nephew, yeah, I'm gonna talk about Thailand. He has I'm gonna talk about I'm Thailand. Gonna, I, I, I told him that this year I was. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Thailand. I'm ready. What? Wait, with the way you guys think, you guys should be performing in every spot over there. Well, Gordy will get uh, it going. I know he will. And I'll host. Gordy, do wow. it. Wow. Hey, I'm telling you, it's it's only a matter of time because Thailand go off of whatever's big in America. They they not. So why, they don't never we, heard why, why don't we do a, Tha a Thailand American Idol thing? <gasps> well, you know, it's funny. They, they have already... Um, <laughs> uh, what's the voice? They have the voice out here. Uh, we do our own version, though. Yeah, they have the voice, which is the guy at the station called BC Terrell. He's an American guy. He started it. He bought the license rights with the voice and doing exactly like the voice. Same uh -huh. logo, everything. It's crazy. I want to oh, wow. see what Miguel thinks about your. Uh, yeah. That's wow. Well, at the end of the day, I'm down to go to Thailand. <laughs> there Thailand. You go. I mean, you think you in America because they have Spargo's, McDonald's, Burger King's, Wendy's, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Swanson <laughs> Ice Cream, Baskin Robbins, Cold Stone. Uh, they got everything here. McDonald's? They got churches? No, they ain't got no churches. I don't mean churches fried chicken. I mean like Christian churches. Oh, oh, uh, yes. Yes, they do. Uh, actually... A lot of Thai people are not Buddha. They 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 actually Christians. A lot of them now they're not. Uh, they're changing uh, between Muslim and uh, Christians. It's uh, what is crime like though? Is it bad? No, actually, I, you know, it's funny because I don't. I ain't gonna go there and get kidnapped and shit, right? No, nah. oh, Miguel, stop. No, <laughs> it's not like right Miguel. Here. That's a legitimate question. <laughs> no, that's, right. Here, that's right. Tell it's right. Yeah. The only crime is, <laughs> a good question. is people getting caught with drugs. 
But as far as murder, well, no. Oh, that's murder. important to me. That's very <laughs> You know, uh, far as uh, hey, murder. Weed is, weed is against the law. <laughs> <laughs> weed oh is weed God. against the law. Oh, it's my well, God. Let me tell weed you. Against the law? Ooh. On the border of Thailand and Cambodia, there's a sign that says, get caught with drugs as life in prison. What? what? A joint? Yeah. No. Wow. No. There's a I sign would, when you I come in. Touch no drugs. I'm not going to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thai Australia. Australia. Thai huh? What? Like Thai I said. Thai. When they say life is quick, they're talking about you know the hard drugs, sticks. not 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 weed. What? Because let me tell you, Snoop Dogg smoked all day, every day in Thailand when he was here. He, That's right. I mean, he, he There's smoked. no way Snoop Dogg can go to Thailand and not smoke. I no, hang out with Snoop Dogg smoked more than he talked. Right, dude. I mean, he smoked. I weed. know. I hang out with him. Man, I, I I don't know how he do it, bro. I don't know he, how he does it. I went to one show and we were going backstage and I was waiting and it was like all these reporters were coming out and dignitaries were coming out of the room and I was waiting to go in and I see all these, they got, someone got their kids with them and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll let me go in now. They said, all right, you can come on in. As soon as I walk in the door, hit that corner, it was like a cloud. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what about the people that just walked out? Hey, listen, he don't give a damn. That's his life. Man, I've never seen anybody can smoke all day. Listen, it's, an herb. it's an herb. It was an herb and it's a plant. You know, the guy still functions. He still handles his business, take care of his kids. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a he's he's really an awesome guy. He's, he's a really down to like earth, nice, <laughs> genuine guy. He yeah, is. he changed yeah, his name to Snoop they, Lion. Didn't he? My people, yeah, loved him. They loved him, man. They loved him, man. Because he's in all the Adidas commercials that's all over every mall in the in the window. Every Adidas store has Snoop Dogg. Huge poster and mural of him. So that's why he came to Thailand because he's real big here than any other rapper. Right. He's like huge here. It's really amazing. Right. Now the biggest artist now is Rihanna. They they are so excited if Rihanna comes here, they're gonna go crazy. Rihanna is the hot this artist by far in Thailand. Well, why don't you get with? Why don't you get with one of them rich person over there? I can get Rihanna over there tomorrow. Well, you know what's funny about you saying that? I'm actually have a meeting tomorrow with the sponsors to bring. You've been there five years. You're an American. You got connections with the people Absolutely. here. Absolutely. You should Absolutely. be. You should be whatever the biggest production, whatever. If I was there five years right now, I'd be mother. I'd be freaking the, the, the head of Universal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, that's funny. That's funny you say that because a lot of the main acts come here. It's it's really my hands in it. So uh, I'm definitely bringing Rihanna here. I'm, I'm working on it right now as I speak, and uh, yeah. it's gonna be after July because her last show is July twenty something. Well, so if she comes, if she comes there, then I gotta gotta go. Come. they should be they go. Y'all should be like one of the opening things. Yeah, well, that's out. the whole idea to have Melissa to uh, open up. For her. And uh, Tommy. That would be awesome. Yeah. Tommy got to do it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. To, I'd like to go to the, the comedy. Yeah, I want to go too. Please take me. I want to go too. I can see Tommy doing a remix. Right, Brian, you can't go. Up. No, they love. They love. <laughs> they, love <laughs> they love rappers. Guys, listen. We got five. No, we got three more minutes until I stop the broadcast. Is there anything else you guys want to say before I end the broadcast? Uh, uh, Miguel, no, do you know Eminem? Uh, no, I don't know Eminem. That's the only person I really don't know. <laughs> Never met him. I was told we were going to play uh, one more song from Tommy. No, we're not. We only got one more minute. So <laughs> yeah, we got a minute. We're going to go out with that song. So let's do all of our things, and then we're going <laughs> to go out with that song. There you go. Which song? But anyway, guys, everybody that's listening, everybody that's on, we got this. This is Melissa B's hangout. I'm gonna be stopping in from time to time, so this won't be my first time because I enjoy myself. So yeah. you can catch me here whenever the next one is. Melissa, just let me know. I'll be in the next one as well. 
And okay. if you want to hang out with us, just log on, hang out with us, check us out. We're going to be talking about all kinds of shit. And if you guys want to talk yeah. about some stuff, you got some questions or something, you can send them to right now and we'll answer them in the last minute we got. Or right, next yeah. time right. on, you got some hey, questions. Hey, uh, Miguel, can I ask you a question? Nope. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you just did, Brad. Yes. I was going to ask you, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you like to hang out so far? Oh, I do. This is my first time. I like it. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm, yeah, I'm, sure. I can't wait to get get off and tell everybody I know about it right now. Yeah, I definitely. My first time too. By, by the way, no, this, really? this show is part of the Hangout Ten Network as well, and this is our one of our lead shows. So Hangout Ten oh, dot com. We're all over this. Hangout Ten dot com. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Hangout Ten dot com, guys. Well, we we website, definitely man. gotta uh, pass the word. I would definitely let my people know about it. It's my first time as well. I think I think it's. Fast. Did we lose? Oh, here's Melissa coming back in. Now, Melissa, did you stop the broadcast? No. Okay. Well, the, now, the computer that you were on just now, was that the one that you were broadcasting from? Yeah. Okay, so when you dropped out, there's going to be a, a blank portion in the yeah. broadcast, just so you know, that's going to say we'll be back soon. Okay. Uh, what do you know does say, what they say on air? While it's blank or...